Port Lavaca is a special place for Jonathan Jolly. It's a, it's a good place to live. So, like I said, from time to time, we face the storms or things of that sort, but it's not every day. The Moscow, Texas native is getting in some last minute fishing ahead of barrel, making its way to town. Fishing seems to be a little bit better, I guess, before storms and stuff hit. Hours before barrel is set to officially make landfall, you can see its footprints already off the shore of Port Lavaca, and that's something that residents here say they've seen before and they'll probably see again. So they're ready for whatever comes. We're resilient. We are resilient. We met Betty Birdwell at the city's Bayfront Beats Music Festival. She told us then she was in the process of securing everything outside her home. It's the calm before the storm, actually. Hours later, we met up with her again, and she explains to us why she doesn't move away, choosing to stay in the Texas Gulf Coast area. I've lived here for 57 years, off and on, and it's always been home, and I would not leave it for anything. A common theme we heard when talking with just about anyone who lives in or near the area. I ended up here because of Harvey. Wow. So Harvey wiped me out in Rockport. I've lived on the coast all my life. I don't know how I could live away from the coast. You live in different parts of the country. You have your tornadoes or earthquakes and things of that sort. Just unpredictable. You can't run from everything. It's that resiliency the Port Lavaca community is known for. Stronger together, despite the threat of any storm. I, I, I think we'll be fine. I really do. I just pray we are. Reporting in Port Lavaca, I'm Amanda Henderson.